Welcome back to VT. You know it's the countdown to Christmas because the tenors are back. We're in the festive mood, and guess what I'm holding up right here? Dun, Brand dun, dun, dun. All the hits. That's Christmas. not on there, just to be clear. <laughs> Christmas Together is the name of the album, but you're getting us in the mood, and you dropped us, by the way, in case you didn't yes. know. Uh, Clifton, Victor, Fraser, they are back. We love what you do. Uh, you dropped this in October, well before October Halloween. 15th, Everybody right. says, why do we hear Christmas music? Because <laughs> of the tenors. Congratulations on this. Thank you very much. It's been a labor of love. We spent more time creating this album than we have any album in the past. Uh, we know that Christmas and tenors music go hand in hand. We're always busy during the holiday season and uh, we love putting on our Christmas show. The album started number one on the holiday charts, number two in the U.S. So the response has been great. There's a few people out there that love Christmas early on so we're excited about the early release and uh, can't wait to get on the road and share the music with our fans. Well there's so many great Christmas songs. Victor take me through this. How do you pick and choose the right covers and there's some original music on this for holiday hits of what is going to make the perfect holiday album? It is tough. Uh, from the last album Perfect Gift which went triple platinum, uh, we already had some songs in mind, uh, and that that was years ago. Uh, so we 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 have this long list, uh, probably about a hundred songs yeah, altogether. Sure. Uh, and at the end of the day, we we narrow it down to ten, uh, trying to get that like hills and valleys effect. Uh, so we want wanted this album to be playful. We wanted it to be nostalgic. We still wanted it to have the reverent mo moments with songs like Oh Come All Ye Faithful, which is so majestic. We got to record it with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra, which was amazing. So uh, and uh, yeah, we're very proud of it. There, there are a couple of originals on there that are more pop driven and, and fun. And, uh, and, and some songs that harken back to that classic Christmas era of Sinatra and Nat King Cole. So there's something in there for everyone, for sure. Well, the feels come out. Have yourself uh, a Merry Little Christmas. We're seeing the, the new video right here. Uh, Fraser. Yes. Tell me about favorite uh, Christmas song cover album that, that really stood out to you for inspiration for this. Wow. Hey, there are so many. You know, we all have these different uh, inspirations from people like, you know, Bing Crosby and, and as Vic mentioned, Sinatra, uh, you know, to Donny Hathaway to, uh, you know, even Stevie Wonder. I mean, um, there's so many incredible artists and, and some of whom we've been very, very fortunate to, to share the stage with. Um, so we, we have quite a long list, as Victor mentioned, when we're we're sitting down to uh, narrow down uh, uh, a song list for an album, but um, the response, we're just thrilled uh, that after that much work, um, almost a little bit relieved, you know, that, uh, that the record's doing so well, uh, because we put our heart and soul into it, and we consider those 10 songs our babies, and, you know, we're sort of protective of them, and then you kind of let them out to the world, and, and uh, you kind of see what happens, so we appreciate everyone's support, especially our moms. Yes. Well, you deliver music, and I love the shout out to Mama. <laughs> We love you, Mama. Uh, but you deliver moments, too. And look at 2017. Canada 150 celebrations yeah. we see. You Invictus Games yeah. with Prince Harry. We see the moments. Uh, but there is a special moment that uh, was just announced uh, that's going to make 2017 an even bigger year for the tenors. So uh, do tell. Do this, tell. This is something. Okay, so we're doing an event on uh, November 29th. And it's one of the biggest moments you can get as an artist during Christmas time. And we put it on our calendar for eight years. We've been manifesting this. And it just got announced this year that we will be performing at the Rockefeller Tree Lighting in New York City for NBC. We're beyond yeah. excited. It's been massive. It was like Alicia Keys and Tony Bennett and Garth Brooks and now the tenors. So uh, thank you, Verve and, and Universal and everyone on our team that's been fighting so hard to get this. And, and, and for us, it's, it's just come down. The album spoke for itself and the U.S. label was so excited like they've never been before and, and they got us this and it's just uh, it's a dream come true for us. Uh, we're proud of you. I know the national tour uh, is underway. Victoria, uh, they are coming for you uh, in Vancouver as well. We'll put those dates so there. You can see them on screen. We'll put that on our Facebook page. Christmas Together is the brand new album and you will be home for Christmas because it wraps up uh, what? Uh, December 22nd. 23rd in New York. We finish off and then uh, we're flying home. So. We'll be in Winnipeg and Toronto as yeah. well. So yeah. Yeah. We get to sleep at Christmas. Good. <laughs> exactly. You deserve it. Also in vinyl by the way. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's a new thing. Vinyl is back. A signature feature. Why don't you play us out and get us in the uh, holiday mood a little something from the new album all right yes it's a little early for tenors but <laughs> no we'll kidding. give it a shot here all right christmas eve will find me
Thank you very much, guys. Continue That's success. Great you Thank you. Great yeah. to be here. Can't wait for 2018. Enjoy that special at the end of the month. Thank you.